Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I wanted to talk about this nail polish brand that is Cushio Cushio. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but I think it's Italian. I got four nail polishes. The first one is this one. Its name is Swept Off Your Feet in Sardinia. They describe it as a French pink with yellow undertones and I think it's just that although sometimes it's a bit more yellowish than pink the formula is really soft and smooth and this is what the brush looks like really nice and it really easy to work with this is what their bottles look like and I think they look really nice I'm using this clear press on because I wanted to show you in like longer nails and mine were taking too long to grow but I do have the review for this press on this is what it looks like with one coat and this nail polish shade is actually really nice because has is really natural it's like the perfect nail polish color that you can wear when you want to wear more than a clear nail polish but you don't want to go for a nude one like it's the perfect in between the formula and the brush like the application itself is really smooth on the nail for like every coat first thing third coat and i also think that it looks better with two coats but i wanted to go for a third one just to show you guys so yeah this is what and this one looks like and i think it's a really nice natural one i'm going to talk about how long it lasts how long does it dry all that stuff at the end for now this is what it looks like after two and a half weeks of wearing this i think the formula is really nice because it doesn't chip it doesn't peel off nothing once you put it on it like stays for a while i really like this one i also get this one this is called take art in Turin. 13 i don't know how to pronounce that word and this one is described as a french pink with cream base now the formula of this one is pretty similar to the previous one because it's really soft and easy to apply as well as the brush itself all the coats went pretty smooth and easy and this is what it looks like with one and two coats now this is a really nice shade like it's like a whitish yellowish pinkish thing and i think it looks really nice on a lot of like different skin tones and like nail shapes but for mine I don't love it, so I just did something else with this one that I'm going to show you in one minute. But yeah, I didn't test this as far as how long this lasted, but I'm pretty sure it's like the previous one. Now I got this pretty unique looking white. This one is called Cupid in Capri, and this one is described as a soft French white, and I would describe this as a really beautiful creamy sheerish white it's not like pigmented plain white it's something else something really unique looks like um almost like like if you're wearing gel manicure with this one it's like it's a really beautiful formula it goes really smooth for all coats with the formula and the brush this is what one coat looks like but for this one with two coats you're good to go but yeah as you can see it's not like a white pigmented traditional white it's like something else because you can kind of see the nail still but not really i think this is a really special one i really like this white one and this one lasted for about three weeks no chipping no peeling nothing it's just perfect just remember i'm wearing presents not natural nails then i got this black one it's called 2am in hollywood which is like the non-italian name i'd follow them i'm not really sure about the whole brand but for the most part from what i saw on the website and like the other ones that i got i think they have like pretty cute names i love the italian names and this one is described as an opaque traditional black and that's exactly what it is it's really easy to apply uh, and the formula is really smooth this is what it looks like with one coat to get best results swirl your bottle like this never shake it because it gives you bubbles but doing this is gonna give you more pigment on each coat and this is what it looks like with two coats i think it's just pigmented enough and this one lasts for about three weeks now remember that my second one i told you that i wanted to do something else with it i'm gonna mix it with this Sally hansen's bear it all inside this empty bottle i do have a diy showing you how i do this how i clean the bottle inside and stuff and i'm gonna mix those two because Sally hansen and since one is a bit too dark for my taste and this one is like a bit too light and i wanted something in between then i placed it back in like the cushio bottle and this is what this one looks like and i really like it i love it this is like the perfect nude for my taste this is what it looks like in my like longer nails and this is what it looks like on like my short nails months after if you can get your hands on this too it looks so natural on the nails i love it for all of this nail pushes the formula is beautiful with the brush and everything it's really easy to apply all of them need two or three coats but less is more with this the thinner your coats the faster they dry and the better they look the drying time for all of them is like the standard time for most regular polishes and that are not fast drying each thin coat that you do is going to take you like 15 to 20 minutes to dry so what i do is like i choose a day that i have time to paint my nails so it takes a while but with that being said 
all of them lasted me for about two and a half, three weeks. I'm pretty sure if you go for a longer time, they will last up to a month. So they take their time, but once they are on, they are on. They don't ship, they don't peel. And I think from like all the brands that I've tried, this is one of the brands that lasted the longest. I love this brand so much. The only downside to this brand is like really hard to find actually. It's like really underrated brand. You have to search for each name. I found about this brand because I was searching for like cruelty-free nail polish brands and I saw this one. I liked the name. I went to their website shows the ones that I liked based on reviews and stuff and then just searched on Amazon and other places. They are kind of like a not really cheap, not really expensive, something in between, but I think it's worth it. So it's kind of like hard to find them, but once you find them, they are actually really nice. I recommend them if you can get your hands on them. Hopefully you liked this and this was helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Check out other nail polish reviews that I have on my channel, subscribe for more and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!